Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your quick bonus reading. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. The lovers in reverse with the nine of wands in reverse. Hmm. You've definitely given up on a connection, okay? This is a connection that you probably were standing on, holding on to very tight. Okay, the Nine of Wands tells me that this is a connection that you tried to work out over and over again. But I feel you're more like saying screw it, okay? Because for the longest time, this is your twin flame that you thought you were dealing with, okay? But this guy and you, this person and you were just not on the same page. I'm getting someone who is not wanting to get emotionally involved in this relationship or one person was giving more to this, okay? But definitely your needs, your desires were not being met with this person here. And now you're giving up on this connection, you know? you're fed up of waiting for this person to come and you probably thought this person would change. You gave chances over chances and it just didn't work out, so now I just feel you're throwing in the towel. What are Scorpio's energies towards this person or connection they're dealing with? Give me Scorpio's energy. Hierophant in reverse with the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone who is commitment phobic, okay? This is someone who's impregnable. This is someone who's not, who's stubborn, who's just not budging. There's no action here. No one's taking action. There's no movement here, okay? Your energies towards this person, definitely dealing with someone who's just not making a move forward here, okay? But definitely this person is feeling very left out by you in the cold, okay? Now, Scorpio, this can be your person and probably this person will be you, okay? Let's see. Give me this person's energies towards Scorpio. I'm going to call this a Scorpio so I don't confuse myself. You can pick the sides. Give me this person's energies towards Scorpio. So Scorpio, right now, I look at you as someone who's being stubborn, not budging, my way or the highway kinds, being a control freak, you know, and um, you're not thinking logically right now, okay? Because with the higher point of reverse here, either you are not wanting to commit to this person or you just think, you, you think differently. You guys are not on the same page. Ten of cups in reverse here. There is a relationship that once you felt was you're happily ever after, but you don't feel it anymore. Give me this person's energies towards Scorpio. Give me this person's energies to Scorpio. This person here with the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles here. This person out here is stressing, okay, over this breakup here. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is either a situation where things are just not getting committed or this is just someone, you know, who's in panic mode, okay. The Nine of Swords is the energy of someone, you know, um, overthinking a situation. Okay, stress, fear, anxiety, you know, and um, someone's in their head about this breakup, this separation here. Someone's constantly stressing here, up at night, you know, sleepless nights. This is a lot of ponder, 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 but just lack of action here, okay. But someone's stressing about this breakout here, who breakup who's on this side out here, okay, because things were just not getting into that point of stability, security. This person out here is not budging, not moving, and with the higher in reverse here, this could also be someone here who's just not, who lacks faith, okay, is also what I'm getting. Someone out here lacks faith here. Scorpio, this could be you, who probably thought this was your person once upon a time, okay, but now you lack faith, you know. You don't believe that this is your person anymore. You're not choosing not to commit to this person anymore because you could have been the one who was more committed to this relationship than this person here. How does this person view, uh, how does Scorpio view this person? How does Scorpio view this person? How does Scorpio view this person? Can you know, guy? You view this person as someone, you know, with the nine of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse. I think you view this person as someone who was what single, okay, wanting to be on their own, you know. You could view them as someone who was who's struggling financially, but you do view this person as someone I'm getting as, you know, who was wanting to be single. They were okay being owned, but now this person is probably wanting to be in a relationship, ready to be in a relationship. They're done with singlehood, okay. They'd rather be with you than be single. But again, ten of swords in reverse here. This person is someone here you know, who's trying to recover. From this ending okay they're trying to recover from this breakup here and they're wanting to uh resurrect the situation okay but you're not budging you're not budging how does this person view scorpio how does this person view scorpio someone could be very focused on their finances you know they would always choose relation choose money or business over relationships how does this person view scorpio how oh, many other viewers you've ghosted them there's a disconnect here, you're withdrawn, isolated, not talking, you know, you know where to be seen on social media. Yeah, two of ones in reverse here, but they see you as someone who's 
ignoring them okay or ignoring a decision okay or ignoring them or just not wanting to be on the same page with them two of wands in reverse is also someone here who's wanting to be safe you know they're sticking to a safer choice you know sticking to something that you know rather than jump into the unknown but this is also someone here two of wands in reverse to me is also someone here who's just made up their mind yeah and they're just choosing to stay away from you that's how this person sees you and you see this person as now wanting to come towards you you know tell me why is all this happening you've given up on this connection okay you're fed up why is all this happening i want two cards why is all this happening why is all this happening three of swords in the temperance here yeah see someone's going through a huge heartbreak out here okay the three of swords is really a lot of pain okay this is breakup separation whatever have you right but here with the temperance what i get is that there is someone who's still trying to heal from this breakup someone who's trying to move on not even move on but someone who's really hurt and they cannot understand what actually hit them you know this is something where you know life hit them hard like you know this breakup could have happened all of a sudden you know there could be a third party situation but whatever this is right one person or both of you you need your peace more than anything else okay someone's being very patient with the progress okay or just too damn slow that's the problem out here okay this is the situation there is healing here that's going on which is taking very long okay someone's trying to heal wanting a, um, a reconciliation but they're just moving too slower to, towards you that's why probably with the nine of wands in reverse you're giving up you're giving up on this connection you could have waited for this person to come towards you but you know this person is just someone you know who's just stressing and not doing anything about it or you're dealing with someone who's just a control freak okay what is the best possible outcome for, for this spread for scorpio what is the best possible outcome for this spread for scorpio page of swords in reverse with ace of cups here see someone wants a brand new beginning with you okay someone wants a new emotional cycle with you they're watching you from a distance this is a lot of stalking a lot of spying watching you from a distance but not communicating with you directly okay so this person's watching you wanting a new beginning with you right but they're just watching not doing anything about it that's the problem here that's the problem here so yeah you know what the problem is here not the problem but the situation because it's a temperance here right this person is still taking their own time okay they're still doing their own research but yeah they they have nothing to say right now again they want this beginning with you but they won't talk because with the temperance here this is a lot of healing this person better heal and come to you rather than do the same thing that they've done with you okay over and over again but right now it looks like you're you're giving up on this person here you know because either someone's too stubborn or they're just constantly having a lot of remorse regret about what happened in the past and there's just no action from both the sides this person has completely ghosted you okay and they refuse to make a decision about you was this person out here is ready to be in a relationship they're wanting to come back towards you this side scorpio you view them as someone you know who's wanting to be in a relationship okay but they're still healing probably but you do view them as someone who wants to make this happen with you okay again get things back from the brink of failure or they view you as someone who's isolated and you choose not to look at them or you're choosing a different direction okay but there is a new beginning coming here we're just going to have to wait and watch because this person is still not ready to take action towards you okay there's healing going on it's divine timing is at work okay so be very patient Alright, so that's what I have for you. Hope this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.